Yeah. Why is no one talking about this? I don't know. Why is no one talking about this? Ugh. Good guys, it's Zen. You don't know me. This is one of my first videos. What's up? I don't want to be making this video. But someone has to. Because no one is talking about this. And I know right now you're like, bro, what is he talking about? But that's not true because you saw the thumbnail. Why are you lying? Anyways, powerful friends and radiant light have been nerfed. Oh. Okay, so I know right now you're like, bro, what is this dude talking about? This dude is capping. No one is talking about that, so it's not true. Huh? Check this out. Damn, that's crazy. You thought I bro. Powerful friends and radiant light have been nerfed. They are now locked to the head socket, okay? What does this mean? This means that potentially you could only run one since they're combat style mods. Now I'm pretty sure I did read something somewhere that said something along the lines of combat style mods and other mods are gonna become one. Either way, it means that it's now harder to socket since they compete with energy levels. One of them's three, one of them's four. Even if they nerfed the levels because they did say they were gonna be making the levels of the mods more average, they're gonna try to bring them together. Either way, it means that you have to socket two out of three mods in the helmet. It's basically gonna be harder, no matter how you look at it, it's gonna be harder to socket than it currently is. Now, I know my Warlocks and my Titans, y'all don't really care. You're like, man, I guess I wanted the strength, but let's talk about it. Hunters, we got nerfed, man, we got nerfed. Check this out. Damn, that's crazy. That's a nice build. Oh, it's a nice build? Well, how is it a nice build when it's only 80 mobility and 80 strength? How is it nice? It's not nice. Check this out. Damn, okay, I see you, Zen. You almost have four 100s. No, I don't. It got nerfed. That's crazy. This is so sad because so many hunter builds, obviously you need max mobility, but a lot of them want strength. You want strength on solar, so you get your knives. You want strength on arc, so you get your melee, obviously. This is so sad. I I don't get why no one's talking about this. This is a huge nerf for hunters. Now, honestly, it kind of makes sense that they would want to rework it or change it in some form, because if you're watching this after Lightfall, or if you're a veteran player even, you know that Charge with Light no longer exists. What the mods read right now is, when you become Charged with Light, nearby allies also become Charged with Light if they're not already. And Radiant Light, casting your super causes nearby allies to become Charged with Light, that's just a whole bunch of gibberish nowadays. That literally means nothing. So I could see them wanting to rework it in some shape or form. Also, just the fact that so many hunters need to run it locks them out of other combat style mods. So it's not really the best design anyways. Yeah, that's about it. I don't want to take too much of your time. This video really doesn't need to be that long. There's no reason to stretch it out. So as you can see on your screen, I would like for you to subscribe. Here's why you should. I'm going to be posting a ton of content. This is one of my first videos, but I have eight weeks of videos planned where I'm posting Destiny 2 two times a day. That's going to be stuff like Lost Sector guides, builds, some PvP, GM guides. I'm going to be posting a whole bunch of stuff, and I'm just going to see what works. So if you want to join me on this journey, that's kind of cool. You can subscribe. I'm also going to post two Pokemon videos a day. Eh, that's kind of crazy. Not a lot of people are posting two videos. You don't want to be that dude that didn't sub early, bro. Come on, man. Hook me up. But either way, appreciate you watching the video. 